I'm using frozen phyllo, which I've thawed. The first step is to line the tin with a sheet or two of phyllo. Then I pour in a spoonful of melted butter. And now you'll see why it's called old rag pie. Tear and scrunch up a sheet of pastry and drop it in the tin and repeat until you have a loose layer of phyllo rags. In some ways, I think of this as a kind of Greek cheesecake. Crumble some feta over the top of the phyllo rags. A scattering of grated parmesan. And then I sprinkle over some fresh thyme leaves and pour over some more melted butter to finish the layer off. And then I do the same again. So, phyllo, feta, parmesan, thyme and butter. Old rag pie was invented by Greek bakeries as a way of using up old scraps of phyllo which means you don't have to be anxious about the fine pastry drying out as you go. For the third and final layer, I use larger phyllo rags, filling the tin a little more tightly before folding over the edges and giving a final drizzle of butter. Now, using the sharp point of a knife, Make two cuts down and two across. Pour over some eggs and milk beaten together. Finally, I scatter over a few more thyme leaves and some sesame seeds. Leave it to sit for a good 30 minutes before going into the hot oven for another 30 minutes. That hour leaves you free. Once it's ready, it'll be golden and puffed up. And all it requires is an amber ooze of honey on top.